that it's me and Cody and Sylvie and yep so we're coming to do a January haul slash I'm gonna show you what I bought in January I'm gonna expose my shopping addiction because if someone's gonna expose me it's gonna be me so yeah let's get to it um it's a lot safe to say but I think they're all pretty good buys so I'm gonna start small and then work my way up um the first things i bought were skincare products so i bought you know trusty cerave i bought the ordinary rose hip seed oil and this is like i love rose hip seed oil and just not specifically from the ordinary any company that has this i'd probably buy as long as it's 100 percent my favorite moisturizer of all time, hands down, is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench. And this is like, I'll tell anybody to buy it, like, this is great. And I bought, you know, everybody's talking about it, the HA BHA from The Ordinary. I had to try it. It's really good. My skin's been clearing up. It's been looking better. So I definitely would say this is a great buy. Pond's, Pond's is old. And you know, everybody knows Pond's, but it's definitely trusty for the double cleanse. This is always the first step. And my last thing that I bought for my skincare from Ulta was the Peach and Lily Glass Skin because I love to look like dewy, shiny all the time. And you know, with a circular face, that's that's a good look. So yeah, that's what I bought from there. Cody's trying to get into everything. So then I went shopping online and here's the stuff I bought online. Let me first say, none of this stuff is related. And it's not going to be in order of when I bought it, only because I don't know when I bought this stuff. So, first let's start off with my Pax, what I bought from PacSun. I bought these Playboy underwear. They're pretty simple. They just got the little detail in the front. I don't know if you can see it. The... Hold on. Little detail on the front. I thought they'd be cute because I love little boy short underwear. And I also love just wearing underwear shorts. So, these are cute. And I got them in black as well. Also, from the Playboy collection in PacSun, I got these underwear. These are so not me, but I love this color. So, I was like, you know what? Um, I don't have a bay for Valentine's Day, but... I'm going to spoil myself. So, I bought these. And they're cute. Oh, and they have a little Playboy symbol on the back. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. Um, then I also bought the matching bralette. Bra top. Now, I know you're saying. It's small. It's small. And you know what? You would be right. It doesn't fit. But I'm going to wear it, okay? You know, this is supposed to be laundry anyway. It it covers what it needs to cover. You're 21. You grown. I'm, 20, I'm grown, okay? It covers what it needs to cover. And that's that on that. Period. And I also bought from Pax on that same order um, this shirt. It's Black Panther, T'Challa, and Storm. And her real name is Ororo. Ororo. Yeah, we hope we stayed in that, right? <laughs> we hope we stayed in that, right? <laughs> that I, thought sure. was, I thought it was cute. Storm and Black Panther, so cute. Cute couple. Love, Black, love. And the illustration is so dope, so I had to get it. It's a great quality. Like, Paxson, I really love them. I don't know if they always have great quality, but as far as their graphic tees, I really love their graphic tees. So, next. Next, we have the pants. The pants from Misguided. Now, these are super long. Okay, they're a woman's tall. Am I a tall? No. Am I a tall person? No. But I make mistakes all the time. So <laughs> I had no idea until I bought them and they came to my house and I was like, Misguided tall. And I was like, okay, I can have that like cute little scrunched at the ankle look then. But they fit nice, they're cute. They have these like big open rips and you know I love a distressed jean and they're pretty classic wash 
to me. So I just thought these are so cute. You can put them with like any kind of like chill outfit, which I think is so adorable. And then I bought these. Okay, hold on. I gotta untangle them. That's they're interesting. So they're a light wash mom jean with chains on the side. So these chains, you know, they give you a little hip exposure with a little chain. The chains are not the best quality though, so I kind of wish that it was like a, a little better quality. And yeah, I kind of wish it was a better quality because it's kind of more like a plasticky. I might switch the chains out one day and, you know, go for a thicker chain. But for now, these are cute. They give you that little hip illusion. Something cute and sexy. So, from ASOS, I bought... Whoa, these are inside out. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. These are some trousers. Some basic gray trousers. But they don't have, like, belt loops like I would have liked. They have, like, a elastic on the back. It looks like work pants. Which is... She said they look like work pants, but these are not work pants. They're just, like, basic trousers, okay? <laughs> um, they have elastic on the back, which I don't think is the most flattering thing ever. But, you know, I understand. A woman's clothes always have something a little different, a little weird with them. And I think they're still going to look good because it's going to be flatter here if they have, like, that little hugging in the back. And, yeah, they're basic. And they have a little clasp that you see in traditional work trousers with the button so i thought these were cute i have an outfit that i'm planning on wearing with them i actually have an outfit that i plan on wearing with almost everything so that's good my dog is trying to destroy everything guys but we will move on we will press on so then from Forever 21, I literally bought one thing and ordered it to my house from Forever 21, which is, like, so not me. Because I feel like, why would you order one thing when you could just go to the store and pick it up? But I just had to... I just thought this was so cute. Um, hold on. The little faces. I thought that was so stylish. The faces... And I like that they're not, like, too, like, slim faces. I, look, I like the little big nose, okay? You know why? Because it almost reminds me, like, you know, of a black face. You know, we always got that spread nose. So I thought this was so cute. And I got it in a 2X. Now, I thought it was going to be, like, super long. So I got it in 2X so it can be, like, bigger and, like, longer, kind of. It's not. I'm still going to wear it. I'm still going to look cute in it. But it's like, hmm. But anyway, it's, I hope it looks like oversized on me. I have yet to like try with the whole outfit that I have planned, but yeah. Also, my pants, every pants is in a different size. One is a size 10, one is a size 12, and one is a size 14. When you are a thicker person, and sometimes you gotta just figure out what size works for you, depending on the cut of the pants. So... All of them are in different sizes. I do that a lot. For the most part, I'm like uh, in between a 10 and a 12. But, you know, it all matters. One week, you know, I could be a little slimmer. One week, I could be a little thicker. All depends. So, yeah. Now, here's the big purchase. I got these. These Nike Vapor Max Air Vapor Max Plus. You got money! <laughs> I don't have money. Okay, that's why this shopping addiction doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, I just thought this colorway was so nice. Like, the red and the yellow and the blue. I just not and the little clear So I just thought this was so cute. Was this, like, a random buy at night? Yeah, it was, like, 12 o'clock at night. But I got them, and they fit great, so... And everybody was like, oh, the soles are going to be so hard. But it was not hard at all. So here's the next thing. Cody's excited for this as if it's hers. This is mine. Okay. Yeah, I see in all the TikToks. Okay. Cody, yeah. So I saw this on Tickety Talk. I don't even have a TikTok. She even got a TikTok. <laughs> I don't even have a TikTok. But you know how you go on Instagram. Twitter. And, and Twitter. Everybody's posting their TikTok. So I saw this. 
and I was like this is so cute okay so this is the little octopus that turns inside out but look it's the black and orange one the black side super mad okay fire in the eyes okay the red side you know the other side's always supposed to be happy nope it's the orange side is just as mad <laughs> mad as the black side just a little less mad and See that that is me. what's the point what's the, <laughs> what's the point that isn't me okay it's either this or is this okay i thought this was so at first i was like this is such a stupid purchase this is a stupid purchase when i saw everybody buying them right well how much and was it it was like twelve dollars so it was a stupid small purchase but <laughs> I was like, I thought this was so stupid, but when I saw this one, I was like, this is so cute because this is so mood, and I love black, and I love orange, and you know, I wear black like every day, I'm wearing black right now, so I was like, this is going to look so cute, and everybody knows I have a stuffed animal addiction, I have so many stuffed animals, and I just love them so much, and Cody obviously loves them too. Cody, excuse you. <laughs> so, what else is in the box? I got these masks these black masks because as everybody's saying that blue and white it ain't for me it ain't for me it ain't right it's messing up the outfits okay i look crazy okay i look like i went to the hospital in my sunday's best i don't like it i look a hot mess so i was like you know what i'm do the right thing and buy the black ones i think that's everything oh wait no it's not of course not because that wouldn't be me at all i bought this stand for my wig head, right? Because I be trying to curl the wigs and stuff, and it it don't be it don't be doing what it's supposed to be doing. It be flopping around. But with this thing, okay, you can twist this, make it tighter, twist whatever this is. You know, I can make it stand up, and I can do all the curls and stuff, and you know, be styling these wigs. Cause you know, I don't let nobody do my hair. Ain't nobody ever touch this head. Also. I bought my sister this Sean John coat from Misguided. Okay, first of all, I love the Sean John and Misguided collection. I wish I could have bought more stuff, but you know, I was trying to be frugal a little, okay? But this coat I had to get my sister because I got myself one in December. I got the navy blue one, and my sister, she loves this like powder pink color, and I just thought we can match. We are literally twins, so why not twin in in our little coats? So hopefully we wear it to go skiing because that's really the goal. So that's what I bought her. And a digital buy oh, is <laughs> going to be, I just got a Nintendo Switch for Christmas after years of begging, you know. Begging. Actually, it was like one year, but it felt so long. Ten years. <laughs> it felt like a decade of begging. It felt like a decade of begging. All right, I finally got it for Christmas. And let's see what games I bought. I bought Super Monkey Ball, which is like, it's like a kid game, but like, I don't know, when I was younger, and I was like, oh my gosh, I think it's so cool. And what else did I buy? I think I bought a Kirby game, and I bought Hollow Knight. I'm thinking of buying Ori, and my sister, she didn't buy it, buy it for me in January, but she bought it for me when she, when they bought this. She bought me Mario and the Rabbids. For some reason, I thought that was going to be the game I hated. I play this game all the time, okay? I'm so deep into this game now. So that was such a great buy. She's so thoughtful. And yeah, I think that's it. Everything else I bought was essentials. I bought like, you know, stuff for my dog. Right? I bought some lotion for my dog and stuff like that. But I was like, y'all don't need to say that. Y'all know I buy essential stuff. Y'all know I be buying groceries, be buying hair products. Y'all want to see the stuff like that was like, you know shopping spree stuff so yeah i don't know for some reason i thought i had more stuff so i kind of think i almost got my shopping addiction down do i i'm not sure yet so next month you're probably not going to see as many clothes but stay tuned because i see wigs and shoes okay in my future so stay tuned later hello cody wody and I forgot to add this in the video. A not so small, small purchase was my ear piercing with the um, earring. I say not so small because it wasn't cheap, but it's small. So yeah, I got this piercing. I plan on doing more. I was just very indecisive when I got to the piercing place because 
I'm an indecisive person. So yeah, that that was it. Cody's destroying my stuff, so gotta go.